the Century 300 is the awaited, promised, newest, and by definition, the most advanced member thus far of the NCR Century series of computer systems, designed to meet the new challenges of the new circumstances of our age. The 300 is for online, real-time users. The 300 is for multi-programming users. The 300 has time-sharing capabilities. The 300 is for the business management community that must have, at long last, the increased throughput at less cost that is a business imperative today more than ever before. The 300 is for the engineering community that must cope with the faster and faster pace of the technology explosion. The 300 is for the scientific community that must confront and work with often overwhelming quantities of data at even higher speeds and greater accuracy. The 300, in short, is for the serious, advanced computer user whose needs must be satisfied at reasonable cost, but who cannot compromise performance, whatever the limitations of his budget. How NCR has produced the Century 300, a computer system that responds to the exacting requirements of advanced computer users, is a story that in itself presents the managerial logic for choosing this same Century 300. Let's go back but a short time to March 1968. This, the Century 100, was the origin of the species, so to speak. The Century 100 offered, for the first time in the history of electronic data processing, a complete data processing system, including magnetic files, input-output devices, and advanced memory. A complete computer system, in other words, with a level of performance never before equaled in its price range. Moreover, the Century 100 also provided the medium-scale computer user and the large-scale computer user too an inexpensive satellite system, linkable online to larger systems. The Century 200, considerably faster and more sophisticated as you might expect, offered in addition to the nanosecond speeds of the 100, a multi-programming system at a fraction of the cost of competitive systems. An online real-time system, again at a fraction of the cost of this feature on competing systems, and a 1,500 to 3,000 line per minute printer, one of the fastest on the market. Today, both the Century 100 and the Century 200 systems have proven in actual operation the price-performance ratios NCR promised at the time. The result? Sales far exceeding our most optimistic hopes, beyond any expectation that could have been charted or predicted beforehand. They ranged a broad spectrum of enterprises and activities throughout America and the world. Manufacturing and retailing, hospitals and insurance companies, banking and finance, government and universities, hotels and transportation. Since the delivery of the first century system, the number of installations quickly passed the thousand mark, a tremendous acceptance from the leadership community of the United States and the rest of the world. All of which is but prologue to the advent of Century 300, NCR's newest and most versatile member of the evolving but ever modular, ever compatible Century series. The Century 300 is, as stated, the promised computer system for the advanced user, the man who can't reduce his demands on EDP technology, whatever his budget. Consider the outstanding features of the Century 300. First, the hardware. Century 300 is an amalgamation of innovative technology in the most advanced systems architecture. Century 300 is composed of four independently functioning units, the memory, processor, I.O. controller, and the operator's communication center. First, 
the processor which connects and controls the memory and input-output elements. Here, NCR's monolithic integrated circuitry has been improved and refined, the better to speed up the work of the processor, with less heat, less space, less cost, but with more reliability. The processor includes the execution, or E unit, and the instruction setup, or I unit, which function independently of each other. Second, the I.O. controller, which includes logic buffering, multiplexing controls, the operator communications console, and the interval timer. The I.O. controller operates simultaneously and independently of the processor, providing maximum simultaneity. Consider the eight position multiplexer trunk. Consider the six trunks with four positions each, each with a live control word and a four byte buffer and four trunks with eight positions each, each with a live control word and two four byte buffers. With these in mind, have a look at the simultaneity you can bring to bear. On the multiplexer trunk, eight devices. On the six four position trunks, one device on each, subtotaling six. On the four eight position trunks, one device on each, subtotaling four. So you've got 18-way I.O. simultaneity, plus compute with its own two-way simultaneity. Some 4.3 million bytes of I.O. data are transferable into and out of memory every second. The Century 300 allows for 16 levels of I.O. priority interrupt. In addition to the processor and I.O. controller, the third great reason for Century 300's enormous throughput is memory which will be available in eight 128K increments, from 128K to 1048K. It will cycle at 650 nanoseconds, with four bytes accessed in each cycle. This four byte access has a superior capacity to manipulate blocks of data in floating point arithmetic in IO flow. You can switch these 128K memory modules from one processor to another, or, for that matter, right within the system to provide immediate memory backup. Now, let's see how the processor, I.O. controller, and memory work together for superior throughput. While the execution, or E-unit, executes all commands, the I-unit looks ahead in the program to the next command in sequence and sets it up for the E-unit to execute. Meanwhile, the I.O. unit, or controller, takes over all input-output functions. It, as do the E-unit and the I-unit, make a trio of independently operating, simultaneously operating parts in asynchronous mode. Compare this to a basic 128K memory unit. Most such systems today cycle all of the memory at once, permitting only one unit to access the memory at a time. Other units must thus wait their turn a real time consumer in terms of processing delays and conflicts. Moreover, most systems in the Century 300 price range do not have a separate instruction setup. They must thus perform the setup of instructions in serial with the execution phase. This too consumes valuable processing time. The Century 300, on the other hand, cycles four 32K memory modules at once, simultaneously and independently of one another with each unit having its own access port to each memory module. Four-way memory interleaving, placing each successive word in the next adjoining memory module, takes full advantage of this technique. While the command setup unit is at work setting up a command from memory module three, say, the E unit is executing a command through memory module two, even while the I.O. controller inputs to memory module four. Thus, even on a minimum 128K system, with three units having access to four memory modules, the competition for memory accesses, with its resulting delays, is virtually eliminated, and throughput increased. The memory interleaving technique greatly reduces effective access time. Effective access time on a right operation is 260 nanoseconds, 510 nanoseconds for a read operation, 
in both cases for a four byte access. The Century 300's four-way interleaving memory is one of the system's prime extra values since it's a feature generally found only in much more expensive systems. Functioning as the hub of Century 300 is the operator's communication center, OCC. Here the operator keeps in ongoing contact with all elements of the system. Capable of projecting 24 lines of information of 40 characters each, all necessary operator instructions can be displayed as well as system status and answers to inquiries. Of prime importance in a multi-programming system, the OCC provides setup instructions to the operator, notification of programs terminated, peripheral status, reconfiguration instructions, and a review of job queues and program priorities. With a multitude of programs running concurrently in a multi-programming environment, there's a definite need to provide more complete and voluminous instructions to take full advantage of the more sophisticated multi-programming software. Since throughput is the name of the game, the old-fashioned I.O. writer just doesn't make it. It's too slow, and therefore cannot possibly present all of the necessary information to effectively run an efficient multiprogramming system. Century 300, with its high-speed communication center, increases the speed of communication, speed setup time, reduces operators' errors, and provides the detailed instructions for the effective utilization of the system. While the OCC is doing its part to increase throughput, NCR's array of high-performance peripherals are concurrently providing their own plus to the system. Essential to the Century 300's top performance is a family of peripherals worthy of the central system. These include the punched card input and output, paper tape readers and punches, magnetic ink sorters and optical scanners, magnetic tapes, dual spindle disk units, and the new high capacity disk units with up to 96 million bytes of information per unit, transferred in and out of memory at 500 KB. Cram with a storage capacity of 145 million bytes per unit, and the new drum storage unit providing 4 million bytes of memory extension accessible in only 8.3 milliseconds at a transfer rate of 1,000 KB of vital importance in online real-time applications. But all these hardware features, innovative and cost-effective as they are, must depend on software worthy of the challenge. This is and always has been an NCR tradition. To keep the hardware operating wisely and effectively at all times, the NCR Century 300 computer system offers four languages. NCR's own NEAT3, COBOL, FORTRAN, and BASIC. The better to take advantage of the Century's greater throughput power, translators, including the 315 RMC and the 360 BAL, assist you to step up to the 300. NCR's multiprogramming software has the twin virtues of efficiency and simplicity. Consider, among many other features, input spooling of cards or paper tape, printer spooling, unit and file sharing, systems rearrangement of peripherals and memory, a common software disk for multiprogramming, an interval timer with programmable maximum partition compute times. Job accounting. Job scheduler. Systems rescue restart. This software hardware spectrum of attributes and capacities makes the Century 300 ideal for online real-time applications. Consider such features as the 512 control words for faster I.O. response. The hardware queuing to increase the utilization of time-dependent peripherals. High-speed, high-performance peripherals, particularly the disc and drum interrelationship with high-speed bandwidth, providing the throughput you have every right to demand in any real-time environment. Obviously, 
NCR is rather proud of the Century 300, which is the newest, most advanced EDP system available at anything like its cost. What all this means, in terms of the Century 300, is the proven record of innovation in EDP, of responsiveness to your growing, evolving, and even proliferating demands, to which the 300 itself is an answer. No computer system in itself can do anything more than respond to the human mentality that only you can confront it with. But here at last is a computer system that honors both your uncompromising standards and your compromising budget limitations. The Century 300 is ready to meet this anvil of challenge. You're invited, even urged, to approach the Century 300 critically and comparatively before you make any further decisions. The NCR Century 300 computer system is for computer users whose needs have simply outgrown their present equipment, who must have more processing power and sophistication. For online, for real-time, for multi-programming, a great move upward in EDP power. At much the same price, they are paying for much less today. In all of electronic data processing, you will find nothing quite up to, nothing quite like, the Century 300.